Hello there and good evening, a very warm welcome to Love Audio's YouTube channel. My name is Paul Weber and uh, it's great to have you along wherever you're listening today, whether it's uh, this morning, this evening, this afternoon, good night, <laughs> uh, then it's great to have you along. Do let us know where you are listening from as well, really helps us to pinpoint kind of where people are geographically around the world, which is great. Uh, now, um, what is Love Audio production all about? And essentially, it's a safe fun, friendly, and hopefully entertaining platform in which you can learn the basics in audio production, okay? So if you guys are happy with that, give it a big thumbs up, and we'll get going. Love Audio. Okay, time for us to say hi to a few people. Let's have a look here. First of all, we have... Uh, not that one, let's get rid of that. Uh, first of all, we have... Uh, Danny Davis is in the house. Hello to Danny. Let's have a look here. Let's do that and do that. And that should come up on the screen. Rich Vibes is in nice and early as well. Hello to you, Rich. Looking forward to hearing this particular test of the microphone, which is excellent. And um, yeah, so if you are joining, don't forget to let us know where you are from and who you are and all that kind of thing. And we will shout you out accordingly through the night. Now, um, as I mentioned in the uh, thumbnail that I produced for the show itself, I'm going to be looking at uh, this, which is the Studio um, Tascam TM80 Condenser Microphone, okay? Um, and basically what it is is a studio mic. It comes in a box like this. And then when you open the box, what you get inside is everything really that you need to go live as long as you've got... Um, a way of bringing 48 volt phantom power supply into the microphone because it's a condenser mic that's what you need in order to make it work okay so without further ado we're going to get it unboxed and take a look at the stuff shall we what a great idea okay let's do it all right i'm going to take the gate off of my current microphone because when i move away from it you guys can't hear me so give me two seconds to do that let me just find that on the desk which is there and then take the gate off. How's that? So that should be okay. You should be able to hear me nice and clearly. And if I step back a bit, you can still hear me as well, all right? So that's cool. Um, I probably have to do the same to the Tascam. So I'm going to take the gate off the Tascam. What I've done is, um, on the mixing desk itself, let me just show you what I've done. Hang on a sec. Um, if I can uh, turn the camera down towards it, let's go to this particular view here. Uh, now, if I turn the camera right down towards the desk, what you've got here is a series of channels. Now, the current microphone is on this channel here, and the Tascam is on this channel here. Now, what I've done is I've literally copied and pasted the, um, the settings from one channel to the next, okay? That's what I've done. So I've, I've selected that. Selected that. So the orange one is the Tascam, and the desk mic is the blue one there, okay? So you can see that clearly on the desk, hopefully. Uh, the way I'm doing that. So both microphones have got exactly the same settings uh, so that we can do a like-for-like -like comparison one to the other uh, on tonight's stream. So I thought that'd be quite useful to do. Rob Thomas is in the house. Hello to you, Rob. Give me two seconds. Uh, let's credit you and get you on screen as well. That should be pretty cool. Any second now. There we go. <laughs> Slight delay to the brain tonight, but uh, it is working, so that's pretty cool. And we're currently streaming at 3.5 megabits per second um, upload from um, from the software to YouTube, okay? So um, we're, at, we're at 720p, uh, we're not at uh, 1080, we're at 720p and 30 frames per second uh, for those geeks that like to know these things. All right, uh, so let's carry on with unboxing this particular microphone. So it's made by Tascam. Tascam is an American company, and this particular mic is a really good, I, I think, a really good rugged microphone, um, and it feels solid. It, it feels like it's good quality. So, you know, the, the proof, as they say, is in the eating. Uh, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So what we're going to do is unpack all the little bits and pieces that come with this microphone. And uh, currently in my Love Audio Bits shop, I'm retailing. It was retailing for 111 I think it was. And as a special offer for the launch of the... Um, uh, for the launch of the shop, I'm discounting that to £80, pounds, eight zero pounds, eight zero British pounds, okay? So, um, yeah, if you are after a new condenser microphone, and hopefully this is going to work well, uh, then you know where to come, all right? So, um, 
this is a tripod that comes with it. It's already mounted with the screw thread that the cradle will need to hold the microphone in, which is fantastic in my opinion. So let's get that out as well. So I'm going to put that on the desk next to here, and I'm, I'll move the camera along so we can see it as well in action very shortly. Okay, so that's that. And now we do, we get the cradle out of its wrapper, put those back. And this comes in the box as well. So this is a shock mount, okay? Uh, it's got these elastic bands all the way around it, and it, they're mounted into these kind of hooks, if you can see that very clearly. Hopefully you can. Let's have a look. Get a background, there you go. So you can kind of see where, where that goes. And that cradles the microphone in, in this, this circular bit here. So that means that that does not touch the outer ring of the stand, which generally means that you won't get any vibrations going up through the stand into the microphone and for that to pick up and, and you get that noise then, okay? So, I'm going to put that onto there. There we go, just wind that round. I'm going to do it up too tightly because it's got to go back in the box, of course. Uh, Rob says the stream is looking awesome, Paul. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you to say so. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Uh, so that's that. It's on the desk. I'm going to just bring it up slightly. I don't know if that will tip over, actually. So that's probably not a good idea. This is more like for a stand, um, uh, you know, microphone stand if you have one. Um, and now what I've done is, of course, I've jammed the, um, the thing into it, which I really didn't want to do. So give me two seconds while I undo that. <laughs> See, these things are sent to try us, right? So um, let's undo that. And then try and take that out of there. Yeah, you see that because that got stuck into the uh, into the centre of that, which I don't want to do. So we'll leave the shock mount off for now because thank you because we don't want that to um, to tip over. So that's generally for a mic stand that's upright or one of these that's on a boom arm like this. Okay, so um, so you've got the weight there, and, and and this this will take the weight, of course, of that microphone. All right, so let's put that back on there. Which way around did it go? I don't suppose it matters too much. Let's put that on there. Where's that round? Finger tight to that. That's good. Okay, you, it also comes with an XLR cable. I've, I've nicked two XLR cables from my shop, so um, <laughs> I'll put those back as, uh, you know, not shop soiled, but, you know, demo tested. I might even need them, actually, so I'm probably going to leave them in situ. Uh, and we're putting this through the Behringer... Uh, preamp, by the way, we're putting it through a very nice warm preamp, so the sound that you're getting from this microphone should hopefully be mirrored in the sound that you get on this microphone. But the, as I say, the proof is in the pudding, uh, proof of the pudding rather, is in the eating. So we will get this out of its wrapper now. This is a beautiful looking mic, um, it's, it's silver in, in color, and the diaphragm itself isn't gold spattered like this one, it's actually aluminium spattered, or aluminum, as you Americans would call it, okay? Uh, Rob, I know you'll be fascinated by that because it's something different that the English call it and the Americans call it. So it's got an aluminum uh, diaphragm inside, which does the vibrating when you speak into it, and of course the 48-volt phantom power supply will then transform your movements of that into audio and down the tube, down the, uh, the cable, of course, and then into the mixer or preamp, whatever you're using, all right? So without further ado, let's get this married up to this. It's like... Uh, <laughs> like that. Um, stupid boy. Um, where are we? Let's have a look. That's not going to go in there, is it, you fool? Uh, so we are going to need this, aren't we? Yes, we are, Paul. So how does that work then? Um, I'm really confused because that's supposed to be mounted on there. How's that going to work? Let me think about this. Hang on a sec. How is that going to work? Okay, let's do this. Okay, okay. Let's put it in here, but once we've done this, we're going to mount it onto the thing. So we are going to need to put it on here. <laughs> uh, it'll be interesting to see if this tips over or not, because to my mind, this is going to be too heavy and it will tip, but, you know, hey, they've included it in the box, so it must be useful for something, right? Uh, we will see. Any questions so far? Please keep them coming, okay? Uh, otherwise, I think I'm on my own. So <laughs> let us know if you've got any questions. Nobody there we go, let's put that back on there. You will have to angle the diaphragm. No, I won't, because the diaphragm is inside the microphone, um, Rich. So what I'm going to do is tilt that. 
and then put the microphone. Let me, t let me turn the camera around so you can see what's going on here. Um, you will have to angle the diaphragm. Now, the diaphragm is inside the microphone. You can't angle the diaphragm. Um, you have to angle this. Okay? Think podcast. Uh, suspension. All right, cool. I know what you mean. Yeah, fine. No problem at all. So let's do that and that and that. There we go. And then we'll put that in there. But the thing is, though, uh, Rich, it's a one directional, it's a, you know, like a not omnidirectional, but unidirectional microphone. So that's got to be facing you. That's the point. So, you know, depending on how we get this sorted out with regards to the angle, we will have to wait and see. So let me just squeeze that into its cradle. Okay, that's fine. And then because, there we go, because it's facing me, let me just turn the camera down to there a bit, two seconds. Uh, there we go. In fact, in fact, in fact, let's put it to there. And I'll balance it on the, um, I'll balance it on the mixing desk. How's that? So what we're doing here is putting it there, making sure it doesn't press any buttons. I can't do that because it's going to tip. Um, let's do that a bit then. Is that going to work? Let's turn it around. Is that going to be, be better? Yeah, that's okay. Okay, that's going to work. So that's fine. I'll angle it down as much as I can. I don't want to, like I said, I didn't want to, to over angle it because it, otherwise it's just going to fall off of its stand. I should have put it on a normal stand really. That would have been far easier. But you can see the mic now. Um, the cable for it is already plugged in. So without further ado, I'm going to plug it in. So hopefully this won't make a sound in your ears. And um, yeah, that's good. I can hear that. Let me just one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, hang on a second because I can't hear it. Must be that one. Task um, fader up. That does help, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. One, two, three. Oh, OK. OK, we're on. All right. So. So a comparison then, side by side. Let's move my microphone back a little bit. Sammy Superstar, you're just in time, my man. Uh, we're about to test the, uh, the new Tascam TM, uh, where are we? TM80 microphone. Hello, mate, says Sammy in his usual Cockney accent uh, from New Jersey. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, are we ready then? So, without further ado... So we don't get any phasing going on here. So I'm going to mute that for two seconds. And then, so this is the microphone that I'm currently using. Uh, let's just angle that up slightly so you can see me. So this is the, yeah, take, one, take that off so it's, you, get, you get a better comparison. Um, so this is the microphone that we are currently using, which is the uh, Marshall MXL 2001 microphone, which I normally use on my used to be used in the booth, but now it's used on the desktop, which is cool. And I'm now going to swap over, so you'll hear me mute this one. Okay, this now is the new microphone. Okay, so what you're hearing now is the Tascam TM80 microphone using exactly the same settings as the one that I use for the desktop mic. What are your thoughts? Can you hear a difference? One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. And bearing in mind, this hasn't got a pop shield on it yet, right? So we do what we normally do with the live streams and we do that instead. One, two, three, four, five. This is uh, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Welcome along to the test of the Tascam TM80 condenser microphone. Um, as you can tell, it sounds pretty good, pretty good indeed. No, um, no distortion. Um, you know. So, how does it sound at your end? Let me know if you can in the comments, and uh, we will kind of go to and fro uh, each microphone. I've got another uh, windshield. It's branded as well, of course, so I need to get those done. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. And then so we mute that one. 
and we go back to this one and one two three four five not too bad at all I mean this one's picking up more of the echo of the room I think um, the one I'm using currently you know the Marshall is picking up far more of the room than the other one does okay so I'm gonna mute that now and then we sorry mate sorry mate sorry mate <laughs> And then we, we unmute the Tascam, but we mute the desk mic. One, two, three, four, five. So that's not picking up, that's not picking up that much of the room noise. If I put the um, Tascam is here, let me put the gate back on it. So that's now got a gate on it. So that's even better. So what it's doing is stopping anything going past my speech, if you like. So it's not picking up any background noise at all. Uh, Rich Vibe says it's actually a little bit clearer top end. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think that as well. So it's got some clarity to it, which is great. Sammy Superstar says it sounds great. Again, Rich Vibe says not bad at all. Uh, let's get some of these comments on screen. Uh, Sammy was watching a leader video. Yeah, I've watched quite a few of those today. Sammy, going to go back and watch some more as well by the end of today, which is brilliant. Uh, very nice, says Sammy. And Rich says, yeah, not bad at all. Sammy Superstar says it sounds great. And then like Rich said, uh, it's got some of that top-end clarity that you maybe don't get with the other mic. So that's quite interesting. Um, is, it, is it worth me buying it, do you think? <laughs> Although I, I bought it. <laughs> I bought it, but it's stock for the shop. So, you know, I don't want to completely deplete the stock of the shop. Rich says, I want one. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? I like, I like the, the sound. If I pick it up, for instance, so, um, and that's not particularly secure on there either. So, uh, so if I pick it up and use it, uh, let's give myself a bit more cable. There we go. So, for instance, if I'm if I'm holding it to my you know to my mouth like that, so I'm quite close to it, I actually think it sounds really good. But like you say, there is a bit of there's a bit more top end to it than uh, than the other one. But if I if I go down here, which is where the diaphragm actually is, if I take that off, you'll see. So the diaphragm is here. One, two, three, four, five, and you can tell that that this is um, you know this is muffling and, and you know cutting out a lot of it because it's quite a thick um mic muff so that going over there actually stops that sammy says can you use this as your main mic um i could do yeah i could do but I, you know i've got this one i've got the icon c14 in the in the, vo in the vocal booth behind the uh the camera and the monitors so I, I don't need another one currently but it's a good option if this God forbid, but if this fails me, then I can certainly use this one, okay? So, um, yeah, we've, we've kind of tested that like that side by side. Um, I'm going to mute that again. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm through this one as well. So you can tell the difference, I think, straight away uh, in that. And I'm listening on headphones. I can hear that really, really clearly. So there's less top end. And bearing in mind that it's got exactly the same EQ settings, exactly the same gate, compressor, everything else, because I've just mirrored it across the desk. So, um, you know, what do you reckon? Two, three, four, five. Um, will you ever get a dynamic mic for the studio or the store? Um, dynamic. I've got dynamic mics in the store, and I'll be testing those on, on uh, future streams, Sammy. So watch this space, yeah. Uh, probably on the on the stores channel rather than this one, but um, you know you never know. Um, so there we go. That's uh, that's testing our two sex. Let's go back to the other one. There we go. So we're back to this one now. And you know, if, even if you're holding it by hand, then it's it it still sounds okay, doesn't it? So I'm just trying to look for the the diaphragm. There we go. So always good to talk in front of the diaphragm. And it's obviously a, quite a close speech mic. So the more I bring it away, the more top end you are going to get and the less bass you're going to get, the further away it is like that. So Rich says, maybe it's time for a new one, Paul. Maybe the old one has degraded over time. No, it's just got different characters to it, Rich. Um, nice try. <laughs> Trying to spend my money for me. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. All right, let's catch up with some comments. Rich says, I want one. All right, good. Uh, let's go. Uh, 80 quid to you, my friend. Can you use this as your main mic? <clears throat> yes, I could do if I wanted to buy one. Absolutely no problem at all. Um, and Sammy says, will you get one for the store or the studio? And like Rich says, have I done that one? Yeah, I've done that one. Okay, so cancel that. Sorry, cancel that one. Uh, really like these mic streams. Thank you very much, Sammy. That's really kind of you to say so. Thank you. 
Um, Bruce uh, from Brulafu says, um, Hey Paul, what's the difference between dynamic and condenser mics? Condenser mics are made for studio work. So this one is a condenser mic. It's got an XLR cable at the bottom and it uses 48 volt phantom power supply from the mixing desk or from the preamp in order to make it work. If that was turned off, you wouldn't get any sound out of it at all, okay? So, uh, but a, a dynamic mic is two seconds and I'll get one for you. Stay there. So a dynamic mic would look like that, for instance. That's very similar to the SM58 uh, microphone made by Shure, except this is about half the price. And um, yeah, so that's got an XLR cable uh, joint at the bottom of it and a switch on it as well. And you don't need phantom power supply for a dynamic mic. Okay? Simple as that. And I'm not going to test a dynamic mic tonight. The purpose of tonight's stream was, of course, to test this one. Put the windshield back on so you get that. So you don't get the popping when you say the word P or the word or the letter F, um, which is really cool. So, yeah, that's the difference between that one. Mute it again. And this one being the desk mic that I currently use. So, yeah, you can tell there's a subtle difference there. And don't forget, each microphone has its own unique uh, kind of dynamics to it. So they're never, ever going to be sounding exactly the same. Um, Sammy was talking about some software that he's got with a microphone that actually mimics a lot of these top-end microphones. And I'd really like to see that in action uh, at some stage. But uh, I don't have that myself. But certainly, um, you know, Sammy's getting used to using that. And we'll have to watch one of your streams, Sammy, to see you demonstrate that. That'll be really cool. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. We have tested the, uh, the Tascam TM80 microphone. Retailing in my store for £80. You can get it cheaper, of course, elsewhere, but, you know, that's up to you entirely. Uh, if you want one, you know where to get one. Uh, <laughs> um, and the, the website should be live by either tomorrow or Wednesday. So that'll be um, uh, loveaudiobits.co.uk. Let me put the microphone, or the, sorry, the camera back up to there. You can see that the store's still got the balloons up there. <laughs> I wanted, to, I wanted to keep the, uh, the balloons up there as for the celebration that we did the other night uh, for the launch of the new store, of course, which is brilliant. That was on Saturday. And, uh, yeah, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. When is the site? Um, when is the site? I have no idea what that means. When is the site? Uh, when is the site live? Probably Wednesday, and it's loveaudiobits.co.uk. Um, let me just type that into the comments. Let's put the microphone down somewhere so we don't wreck it. And take that off and mute that. Keep that on. Two, three, four, five. Put that back to there. I don't want to get it tangled up. Let's put it down there out of the way so it doesn't uh, break. So I've got to repa repackage it and just check in. Thought it had fallen over. <laughs> I've got to repackage it and put it back in the shop. So, um, yeah, I didn't want to kind of ruin it in case anybody wants to buy it. Um, Sammy says, I would pay extra money to support you. That's really kind. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Uh, so let me just type the address in. Hang on. Like that. There you go. So that should be fine. It should come up nicely. It's not live yet, as far as I know. If it is, please tell me. <laughs> I mean, I have, I, have a, um, I have a demo of it, and I can just show you the look. If you give me two seconds, I'll bring it up on my screen, and you'll see it. Um, so this is the, um, this is the, uh, the website before it's been constructed. So this will be the general kind of layout and the look, if you will. Just give me two seconds whilst that appears on screen. Here we go. That's really cool. So if I go to PIP, for instance, there you go. So that's the Love Audio Bits website. Um, and it's, it's yet to be fully populated. That's, that's the, um, uh, the old picture of the old studio course, uh, which is pretty cool. I don't know why that's up there, but it is. Um, and let's have a look here. So the home page is that kind of look and yeah pretty cool i mean obviously the store will be there as well it takes you to the online shop 
where to find us in Saltash. If people coming to the actual physical store, contact details, of course, uh, social media links will be there once I've populated them, of course, and once I've created new channels for it. Services, we've got Love Audio there, we've got On Hold Marketing, etc. blah de blah de blah We've got the Tyler Not Music brand. So I thought it's good to promote uh, other sites on the th same thing. So these will all be populated with uh, the products from the shop because they've all been gone across to the thing. This will be populated with news bits about Love Audio bits. Uh, locations, of course, there's only one location and contact page is at the back. So yeah, pretty cool. It's not a bad layout. I like the look of it as well, and it all kind of flows. And it's got the right color scheme and all that kind of stuff, which is really nice. It's a quick inf inquiry form, so you can drop us a line there, and that comes through to me. And uh, yeah, so that's the new um, Love Audio Bits website, and uh, the link's in there. Don't see the website from the link. No, because it doesn't work yet. It's not live. Uh, that's just a, um, a test of it so that I can populate it and then get the details across to the web designer, and he does that. All right? So, um, yeah, don't click the link yet. It's, well, you can save it by all means, but it won't work yet. It won't go anywhere. Um, but he has bought the domain, and, um, well, I've bought the domain, and, uh, yeah, he's populating it currently, and it should go live hopefully tomorrow, or, as I say, probably Wednesday more likely. Um, and the good thing about it is that I've, uh, I've changed my personal... Um, uh, what's it called? My personal um, PayPal account to a business account. So uh, that's going to be integrated into the shop at the website. So look out for that as well. It's an easy way to uh, to pay if you, you want to buy stuff online, which is pretty cool. All right. So unless anybody's got any questions about tonight's stream, that is pretty much it as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let me just fire some of these comments up on screen because I think that's worth doing. Thank you very much indeed, Sammy. That's really nice of you. Um, like I say, that was the website address that I uh, <clears throat> put up there. There we go. And that one. And that one. And that one. That's amazing. All right. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Do appreciate it. If you liked what you saw tonight, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, then do, of course, click that subscribe button and click the bell icon. That will let you know when I go live next, which is generally on a Monday night BST. That's 8 p.m. British summertime. And, um, yeah, wherever that, that might change, of course, wherever you are in the world. Uh, but certainly 8 p.m. British summertime on a Monday night is when I generally go live and do these kind of streams. And we'll be doing more in the future with regards to audio production using the software, which is my software of choice, the PreSonus Studio One version 5 Pro. That's linked into my mixing desk below, which is the Studio Live 32 SC. It's a 32 channel professional digital mix system. And we kind of combine the two and show you different aspects of audio production. So if you like that, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and that'll let you know when we go live next. Website, of course, for Love Audio is right here. That's loveaudio.co.uk forward slash nothing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Um, yeah www.loveaudio.co.uk. Uh, if you want merchandise like t-shirts, mugs, that kind of thing, get on to spring.com and search for Love Audio's merch store and you'll find that there. Okay, good. That, my friend, is about it. So um, Sammy says, I really like the stream tonight. Thank you very much again. And Rich Vibes says, really good stream, buddy. I've been waiting to hear the mic since you first showed it nearly two weeks ago. Yeah, there's nothing like wetting somebody's appetite, is there, for uh, something that's coming up. But you know what? After tonight's test, I really like it, and it means that I can recommend it to people in the shop and also can recommend it to you guys if you're looking for a nice, cheap condenser microphone. As long as you've got that 48-volt phantom power supply coming in from either your sound card or your mixing desk or a pre-amplifier, then you're all good to go, okay? So, again, thanks for watching. My name is Paul Weber, and I'll catch you next time.